Welcome back to TW 2016. I'm here at Impact Victory Road. Let's get going. So the night opens with a Omega um, El Patron hype prom promo. And kicks off with the X Division Championship match. Decent wrestling didn't match in way of heat. Zack Sabre Jr. defeated Zach Davy Richards with a Tiger Suplex. Zack wins. Makes defense number four of his X Division Championship. Okay, Batista makes an elaborate entrance. And then a not such great match in about a good, re, great heat and good wrestling. Ethan Carter the third defeated Batista in twelve fifty seven by pinfall with a sweet meat. Okay, with the one percenter. After interference from Hangman Page, and after the match, Ethan gets on the mic and says, "I told you all, I told you all that I would win, but not only did I win, I changed this place because now Batista." will be just known as the guy Ethan Carter the third beat up and beat when he joined the Bullet Club. So Ethan Carter the third, the newest member of Bullet Club and Hangman Page, makes his debut. And I should have had Hangman Page not rated on anything. But whatever. Ray Mysterio has a Good match with Magnus. I don't remember if this is, is good, good or about the same as... The, I think it's about the same as their other match. Anyway, this time Magnus defeats Rey Mysterio and then at, and then celebrates. A 61 match. This is good. Decent match. Eli Drake defeated the American Nightmare. Cody Rhodes... Well, the American Nightmare Cody and Moose when Eli Drake defeated Moose by pinfall with the bottom rung. Eli Drake makes defense number 9 of his Impact Television title, the American Nightmare... Cody carried much of this match in terms of in-ring performance. Yeah. Eli Drake's getting better, though. Eli Drake will get there. I, I have faith in Eli Drake. And he celebrates. All right. Kurt Angle makes his big entrance. And then has a good... I, I, I thought this match might have match of the night potential. And I think I'm right. In a match that had good wrestling and a decent reaction from the crowd. Adam Cole defeated Kurt Angle with a last shot. And celebrates after. Right, yeah, I didn't expect much from that, this match. And about that, I had decent wrestling. Cause, I mean, they're not all over yet in America. So once I get them there, this will be better. Anyway, decent wrestling. Much Not much in the way of heat. Young Bucks defeated Rumpungi Vice and Matt Jackson defeated Beretta by pinfall with the Indy Taker. The Young Bucks make defense number two of their Impact World Tag Team titles. And celebrate. And Gail Kim, Kim and Awesome Kong. Gail Kim wins. Awesome Kong's gone. She celebrates. Yay, Awesome Kong is gone. All right, Kenny Omega makes his big entrance. And ties for match of the night. It ties for match of the night. In a good match, Kenny Omega defeated Alberto El Patron by pinfall with the one-winged angel. Kenny makes defense number one of his Impact World title. In a 70, there weren't enough attractive women. Okay. Okay. I feel like this was a problem last pay-per-view, too. Anyway, Kenny, Alberto, and Adam Cole. You guys, you did good. You did great. You did great. Good job, guys. Pleased, pleased, pleased. All right. Let's see. I want to look at people's popularity before we head out here of this episode. Jason Prime is an English wrestler who works extremely, ex who works exclusively in the British Isles. Don't care. Um, El Patron has morale issues because he lost to Kenny Omega. Um, Kenny Omega feels like he, it's time for him to take a break. He, he, I mean, he's working all these Japan dates. He's coming, fly, he's constantly on a plane, probably going between Impact, Ring of Honor, and New Japan. Kurt Angle's unhappy with losing. Kurt Angle, Hangman Page has poor in-ring psychology. Kurt, if just, come on, come on, Kurt. Um, all okay, right, yeah, let's look at some popularities before we head out now. Um, E. Cody, has he gone up or down any? Um, he's gone down a point. Eli Drake, he went up a couple... I think he went up two points. Four points for the month. I think two points for that one night. EC3, has he gone... Did he go up any from that match? I imagine he would. Um, yeah, I don't know how much from the match. Probably two. Batista hasn't really lost any. 
What about El Patron? He's lost. He's lost. But Kenny Omega has gained... Mm, he's gained five, probably from winning the belt and then keeping the belt. Oh, yeah, one thing about Kenny Omega. He and Okada had another match and um, for the belt. Ke Okada won in Japan. Um, but it was a 97 match, so I imagine not as good as the Tokyo Dome match in game's perspective, but close. Good job, Kenny Omega. Um, let's see here. Who else? What other popularity could have changed? Matt and Nick. Matt and Nick. I feel like that's better. Yeah, definitely better. And Nick. Oh, Nick's almost in the 40s, man. Nick is Nick is coming along a lot faster than Matt. I mean, not a lot, but by a little bit better than Matt. Um, who else had a big win? Adam Cole, you had a big win. Yeah. All right. Anyway, thanks so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. Thanks so much again. I will see you guys next time.